There's a family that's been the victim of gentrification and this happened out of Portland, Oregon. So they had demonstrators in law enforcement. They had clash in Portland. Um, and they, when they erected an autonomous zone around December the 8th, uh, by surrounding a black family's home with barricades in order to keep the police out and protect the family from being evicted. Now the Kenny family has lived in their Mississippi Avenue home for about 65 years. I mean, that's, that's a long time. That's, that's longer than I've been living. Um, they said, but the property was foreclosed on in 2018. They say, although the family challenged the foreclosure, a judge sanctioned the eviction in February and instructed the county sheriff to remove the family from the home. Now, I say for months, protesters has, you know, staged a demonstration outside of what's known as the Red House on Mississippi to prevent the family from being removed. Um, but on December the 8th, they say protesters intensified their efforts by surrounding the house with their barriers to keep the police out from executing the eviction. Um, they're saying that Portland at that time had a, a new autonomous zone on Mississippi Avenue. Now they said the family said their home was foreclosed on uh, because they owed less than a hundred thousand dollars. They said while the vacant land next door is owed $10 million. Um, and that's crazy in itself. That is so crazy. I mean, it, it, it has to be for taxes cause they couldn't just after 65 years, they're owing money on the home. Now say signs were posted. They say around the barricades, like Red House Sovereignty, evictions hurt everyone. Uh, now, a memorandum was put out um, that remains in place to next year where they can't evict anybody, but this happened before uh, that actually got out. So the police arrived at, at that home where they had about 100 people there. The, the, the people was uh, flattening the, the police tires. Seven people got arrested. Um, the mayor, you know, he said he basically wanted the police to get them out of the home. He didn't want the autonomous zones anywhere, but eventually, uh, they did get them out of the home. But this is, you know, what happens with gentrification. Now, prior to all the gentrification, uh, that area was a thriving area for black American uh, people. And they have always targeted black American neighborhoods with gentrification. You know, they don't go target nobody else's, just black people's when they want something or they'll put a highway through a, a, a black area or a highway over it, destroying our businesses and things like that. You know, they don't go do that to where they live. And as I said, this whole system is set up for sabotage. Um, you know, like they said, $10 million is what the vacant lot had owed, but versus they house a hundred thousand. But that sounds about right. You know, and this is why I tell black folks is that, we need to be you know, places that we can have larger numbers. That way we can kind of, you know, link up and protect each other. Cause you know, Portland, Oregon, uh, that, that sort of place don't have a whole lot of black people like that. And it's good that people stepped up to try to protect them. But you know, I mean, they, they went after them. They couldn't for whatever reason, owing a hundred thousand dollars, couldn't pay that. And in black Americans don't have that kind of money like that laying around, uh, versus others who had a, a start with slavery. Um, in America. But with this, you know, now with this happened to this family. Oh, just, just, just wait what's going to come down the line because they didn't renew this coronavirus uh, bill. And so that means if they don't do something, then the eviction is going to start happening in January. If they don't do anything, then it's going to be a problem all over the place. But leave me a comment. Let me know think about the situation with this family. Like I said, being, you know, they have had to be put out of the home. Um, some place they've been living for 65 years. It don't make any sense.